Since the inception of Operation Bahamas, Turks and Caicos in 1982, the United States has played an integral role in the fight against illicit criminal activity. A senior United States State Department official who is in town attending this week's Northern Caribbean Security Summit gave Altavis Munnings an exclusive interview this morning on the Americans' commitment to ending the war on regional crime. She joins us live in studio with more. Good evening, Altavis. Good evening, LaDawn, and good evening, Bahamas. It's been just about three months since Christopher Landberg became the U.S. State Department's Deputy Assistant Secretary of the Bureau of International Narcotics and Law Enforcement Affairs, overseeing its Western Hemisphere and aviation offices. His wealth of knowledge, which includes his work as the former acting U.S. Special Envoy for the Global Coalition to defeat ISIS last year, makes him quite knowledgeable on transnational crime. In our exclusive interview at the British Colonial Hotel Thursday morning, DAS Landberg, who's visiting our country for the first time, credited the Bahamas for its leadership role in helping to resolve the ongoing war in Haiti. The U.S. administration of President Biden one of their top priorities is to bring democracy, stability, and security to Haiti. And we're doing this through various mechanisms, but really as a global approach. So I think what, what I think the Bahamas have been playing a key role in is in developing the multinational security support mission, the MSS mission, which is led by the government of Kenya, and we appreciate the government of Kenya's leadership in that role, but Bahamas is also a contributor to this mission. So the United States and my organization have been looking at how we help create uh, secure conditions for political transformation, for protecting human rights. DAS Landberg believes this week's Northern Caribbean Security Summit highlights the collective and comprehensive approach taken by the United States, the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, and the United Kingdom to address the region's transnational threats. As he feels over the years, these security threats have drastically changed. Rather than looking at one country or any other uh, any countries in particular i think we're trying to approach these threats as as a group a, a comprehensive approach that that deals with not just the security threats themselves but takes a a, a broader approach looking at rule of law and human rights and civil society so that's how our government is is trying to work across the the region with all of our counterparts and back to remedying the situation in haiti das landberg is calling on all international stakeholders to partner with the united states the bahamas and kenya as well as other partners within kind and other financial contributions to really bring security solutions to the people of haiti whom he says need it so badly Reporting live in studio for the Bahamas tonight, I'm Altaviz Munnings. Back to you, Ladon. Hi there, I'm Corval Pfeiffer. Thank you for watching our YouTube page. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for all things Satanas.